Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and this week is going to be my last Easter-inspired nail tutorial. It's going to be a fun one, a cool one, and I'm excited to do it. So, before I go ahead and do my nails, and you continue watching and learn lots of things, go down below, subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, and uh, make sure you hit the gray notification bell so you'll be notified with all the other videos that I do. Let's get started with this video. Okay guys, like always, to start off with this nail tutorial, or any nail tutorial, we want to put two coats of the colors that I'm going to show you. Now this color is a color that I made. It's a translucent black. So if this is just a regular nail polish bottle, a clear nail polish bottle. And I put about five drops of black inside here. So it came out this nice translucent black gray. So if you want to use this and follow along with what I'm going to do, you're going to want to make one yourself. <laughs> So on the two white nails, which is the wedding finger and the thumb, I'm going to do this ombre effect on each. So on the thumb, it's going to be this circular ombre effect, and on the wedding finger, it's going to be this other kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but it's an ombre type of-ish thing effect. That's what I'm going to do first. Does this work only because we never say what we think?
are done now off to the next three last nails which are all going to be the same and first I'm going to do a geometric uh, triangle pattern around in a circle shape on um, each nail it does this work only cuz we never say what we think wait for the perfect way time so to fill in each of the triangles with the same oranges I used before. Across the million seas, just to have you next to me. Paris and Tokyo, I go where I have to go. Screw geography. second coat of each color again of the triangle pieces off camera and then I meet you right back okay now since I am done with the second coat for all the colors I'm going to go back in with the black and fix up all the lines on the triangles because they some of them might got lost so that is the next step
fixed all the lines. Now for the fun part and put some caviar beads on around the circle area. <laughs> For the beads to stick on the nail, you need something to, for it to stick. So, I'm going to use a top coat and put it around the circle and then hurry, put them on. Finally got all of that done. That took forever, just so you know. For the last bit, for the top coat, and um, I'll meet you right back. for this week's nail tutorial of Easter Inspired. I hope you liked it. I really had fun doing it. I really love them and like them as well. So I want you to go ahead and give this video a like and show it and share it and subscribe to my channel because you know you want to and you want to see more videos of mine that will be coming each week and um, I have a lot in store so go ahead and subscribe like I said and so I'm gonna stop rambling and in this video and thanks so much bye <laughs>